down left equals true and moving down right equals false and next if moving upright and hitting top wall and position dot y less than or equal to zero plus twenty five which you could very well just put less than or equal to twenty five here but i just do this uh... for myself so i understand why uh, we're adding that then moving down right equals true and moving up and to the right equals false I believe this is our last one. If moving down right and hitting bottom wall and the position dot y is greater than or equal to 768 minus 45 then moving to upright equals true and moving down right equals false Okay, my mistake, there's one last one and then we'll be done with our ball update function. About time, right? Moving upright and hitting right wall. And position dot x is greater than or equal to 1024 minus the width then moving up left equals true and moving up right e equals equals false now I've that will conclude our ball update function finally um, I looked over different ways of how I, how, how I wanted to handle this but if I want to do the wall um, add it, have collision built in or or how I want to do that or, or actually make a class for collision but like I mentioned earlier with other things uh, because how basic the game is um, and you can get, j just by the way I laid this out you can pretty much understand what I'm doing here uh, and you kinda get a, a just of uh, how you can just solely code it so it acts as collision just out of straight out of solid cold code um, so basically is when it's hitting a wall I'm turning the direction it was going off and turning it into the uh, the, the direction it should be going turning that on um, okay so that would be it for our ball class itself now we just need to go implement it so if we go back we save this off I'm gonna build make sure I don't have any errors after all that uh, it still looks good uh, we can now go back into our game1.cs and um, what we need to do is now that we have our ball class we need to instantiate it just like our paddles so we're going to have a ball we'll just call it ball equals new ball alright and then we need to uh, set the texture for it so we'll go down our load content and assign textures for paddles and we'll just put this as assigning textures so we can add all of them under this comment uh, and what we want to do before that is right click your content add an existing item because we need to add our ball uh, pictures um, calling images uh, add our ball to the project okay now it's in there and we'll assign it ball dot texture equals content dot load texture 2d 
and we just called it ball. That's what I called the image anyways. If you made your own and called it something else, you'd put that in there. Um, we'll go set the ball starting position. And we'll want to put this in the in the center of the screen. So uh, the way we'll do that is ball dot position dot x will be equal to screen width which is 768, which would be the width of the screen, uh, divided by two minus ball dot width divided by two. So it's put in the center of the screen uh, right here. That's getting the center of our screen. And we're going to subtract the, the width of our ball, divide that by 2, so we can get that the, um, ball directly in the center of the screen on the x axis, axis going left to right. And then we'll do our y real quick. This will be the same thing. 768, which is the width of our screen. If yours is something different, you put that there. Divided by 2 minus the ball height because it's going up and down divided by 2 alright so we have that now we just need to go into our update and our draw functions and we will want to update our ball so we go down to our update function ball dot update and what this is going to do is <coughs> is when uh, the ball is uh, this is what will handle our collision with the walls right here and just because it's calling this function in our ball class the update function next I mentioned we do also want to draw it so we go to our draw class and we'll want to draw our ball as well. Ball dot draw sprite batch. I won't forget that this time. And that should be it. This should just draw our ball um, and actually make it start moving because in our ball at CS um, we set our moving down and left to true. So it's going to start moving down and left when the game begins. And then uh, if I typed all these in correctly. I did have notes just so I, I didn't have to do it off the fly in the video and confuse myself. Um, if I put all these in correctly then we should have a basic pawn game right now and uh, aside from the paddle collision we need to set that up next video but at least the ball will be bouncing off the walls now. So let's give it a build. No errors and we will run. Let's see what we have. Alright. It is a little laggy, probably because I'm frapsing this right now, but on your screen it should be a little more fluid. And there we are. It's just going to keep bouncing on forever. And like I said, we still move our paddles. Uh, there is no paddle collision yet because I'm going to set those up in different functions next video. But at least we have our ball on the screen. Um, we are also in a different video going to be doing our text display to the screen and adding the sound effects for the ball when it bounces off something. Uh, sorry my son interrupted there but uh, um, long story short in the next video we will cover uh, collision with the paddles and then the following videos after that we will get into putting text on the screen and uh, creating the sound effects for our ball. And like I was mentioning before I was interrupted uh, I might add a particle system to this so uh, uh, that the ball has some cool particles coming off of it while it's moving too, but that's still in the works. I'm not sure if we're going to go with that yet. I don't know, maybe in the comments let me know if there's any other uh, ideas you want for this to kind of uh, make it look better or got any cool ideas for it, and I might uh, put it in a future tutorial video. All right, uh, as usual, if you like the video, toss me a like. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all later.